Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be going over the home brew, and this one is the Lorba Fuzz. Um, it's a simple two knob fuzz pedal, and uh, a couple cool little things about this. Uh, one is a little selectable diode selection for uh, you can go between silicone or uh, germanium. And uh, we're going to go through just a couple tones here. Let's just start off going dry. I'm playing through a, a Stratocaster. And to a Fender Deluxe, a little bit of reverb, a little, little, little bit of reverb. And uh, the one thing uh, to note about this is, it's if you're playing with the volume all the way turned up, you're not going to see a big difference with the pedal. You're not going to hear it um, that that change. But keeping it down uh, on you know about half, you know four, five, six, somewhere right in there on the volume, uh, when it kicks in. Go back to clean one more time. This is the volume right here. Keep on cranking the intensity. And again, uh, switching back. Uh, just going over some of the notes here uh, from Homebrew. Uh, they're saying, uh, yeah, let's see, the Lorba Fuzz is a simple two knob fuzz and level, similar to the Jordan Boss Tone, but quieter. Smooth fuzz tone with a mid range snarl. Um, as far as the input, typical you know, input output, on off switch. Um, again, this selects between uh, the two different modes. And. Um, the, the fuzz varies the amount of fuzz, which is right here. Uh, an octave uh, effect is produced at higher fuzz settings and is almost noticeable when playing single notes in the upper register. So we'll try some of that. Out. It doesn't say which ones you're selecting between the uh, germanium or the silicone, but uh, you can hear the slight difference between the two. I'll just keep switching back and forth so you can hear it. saturation between the two. I'm going back to clean just so you have for reference.